on guys, Men Elite here and today we are watching and reacting to the Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth PlayStation State of Play. Uh, now we're kind of hoping they're going to shadow drop a demo later on which we will definitely play the hell out of on the channel so if you want to see that be sure to subscribe and like the video. Uh, so why don't we just dive in and react together. Alright, you all ready to dive in and watch the State of Play? What happened to this place? It was Sephiroth. He wants to finish what he started. I still can't get over how good Janon We have to help them. You coming? Way ahead of you. Let's get to work. Looks like Nick Dazmer again. This is probably just world. a recap of what we've already seen. スクエアエニックスを来た生吉典です。私がシリーズプロデューサーを務めるファイナルファンタジー7のファイナルファンタジー特別なゲーム紹介映像を用意しています。また重要なお知らせがありますので、ぜひ番組の最後までお付き合いください。それではどうぞ。So basically, it picks up with the group outside of Midgar. Bring me the black materia. Wait, what? The beginning of the end. Oh my dear, that was the awesome. The faithful. <laughs> A watershed moment for all mankind. Hey kids, sorry we're late. Damn! <laughs> change the voice actor for him because I think he passed away. As if Eric's got sunglasses on. <laughs> to be the oh, first no. lucky lady. Hey boss, your guests are here. Ha <laughs> ha At long last, the knave returns. What? I refuse to be upstaged. A second time, my friend! <laughs> <laughs> Have you stopped? Fill your hollow heart with rage. The world will be saved, but will you? No, Aerith. I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. We ask that you retrieve it. The black materia. He to our oblivion. Please. Oh, is, is this it the alone ancients? The can camera? liberate us from this endless dream. Passing through. You. Tifa! Oh, my goodness. Hey, guys. <laughs> They're getting some sun, too, huh? Ah, oh, look at Barrett. Yeah. In cloud. Well, Red. <laughs> Hello. Well, we Eric. Wow. <clears throat> Damn. You should get yourself a reading. It's got to be hiding some ginormous materia. This actually looks unreal. Whoa! Hold this thing over right now. No. You said that Sephiroth it's is your it, foe. my boy. I have a history with him. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Uh, mini games. Oh, the soldier took it his back. Looks like it plays like the uh, funny being scene. Wait, don't misunderstand. Sid. You'll need a way home. Oh, so I don't like the voice of Sid. Be here. An emissary from Wutai is here. Sent by Viceroy Saru. With all this goddamn blood on my hands, how could dying? I ever hold my daughter again? Those we hate, those we love, those we fear. Genova would become anyone to fool her prey. Don't do this! But I'm no fool. Sephiroth! Hey! No, not you. 
Here, take it. This isn't about me, though. It's about saving the world. No, it's about and saving you, you Arif. That's all that matters. When spite and sorrow are harvested to feed the planet. No! In Final Fantasy VII Remake, Cloud and his companions triumph over destiny. Leaving the city of Midgar behind, they step out into an unfamiliar wilderness. It is here that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth begins. The stage upon which this ragtag band story unfolds is both vast and varied. The world is made up of multiple regions, all seamlessly interconnected. The Grasslands. Located due south of Midgar, this is where Cloud and the gang resume their adventure. The Junon region. Junon just looks unreal. Where a metropolis by the same name overlooks the ocean, a symbol of Shinra's military might. The Karel region. The resort town of Costa del Sol adorns its northern shore, while the gold saucer stands as a gilded oasis above the dust bowl far to the south. I'm looking forward to going in the gold saucer. The Gingaga region. Me? Pay Gangaga. tribute to Zack by exploring his hometown or visit what remains of the local Mako reactor. It's the Cosmo Canyon region. The, the reactor, Become one with the planet as you return to Red 13's roots. The Nebel region. Take a trip down memory lane with Cloud and Tifa, or stop by Shinra Manor, where Vincent rests in peace. Your adventure will ah. even extend to the high seas. Ah, uh, the Bronco looks so different. There's more to do than simply walk around, however. First, let's look at world intel. Assisting Chadley with his research will deepen his understanding of the world, allowing him to develop new materia. This research takes many forms, such as wrangling chocobos or playing with the Mooglets at their mog stools. You may also come across sanctuaries brimming with knowledge of divine entities or lairs inhabited by fearsome, unique foes. Chadley will also enlist your help what? in researching mysterious artifacts known as proto-relics. Each investigation heck? is its own side story, featuring a colorful cast of characters, exciting new minigames, and ferocious creatures. Are you up for the challenge? And once you recover all the proto-relics scattered throughout the world, there's no telling what new developments might be in store. Next, let's talk about odd jobs. These quests offer a deep dive into the regions of the world and the crazy characters who inhabit them. As a merc, Cloud will accept work from people he meets in his travels and team up with his pals to solve their troubles. By helping those in need, he will also strengthen the bonds between him and his comrades. Well, guys. <laughs> Each one of these odd jobs boasts a unique side story. Some, like Johnny's questline, borrow aspects from the original FF7, while others highlight content exclusive to Rebirth. 
you'll find all sorts of jobs the world over. And don't worry if you leave some for later. Story progression won't affect your side hustle. You can always go back to tie up loose ends. And this freedom to experience the story how you want is one of Rebirth's greatest strengths. While some mini games are tied to world intel and odd jobs, many are not. For example, popular ones from the Gold Saucer, such as 3D Brawler, G-Bike, and Chocobo Racing are in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth 2. Others improve upon their remake versions, while still more are completely new to Rebirth. We've even fleshed out some of the mini-games that were featured as part of the original Final Fantasy VII's main scenario. Though this one is not in the original, I highly suggest you check out the card <laughs> game, Queen's Blood. <laughs> no matter where you are in the story, it's sure to both challenge and entertain you. Oh, Enjoy collecting all the cards and building your own unique decks. He's planning to use the Black Materia, but I won't let that happen. He has to be stopped by a Cetra, and I'm the last. While mini-games and map exploration are a big part of Rebirth's charm, there's more to it than just that. Rebirth provides a cinematic experience with even higher quality content and more of it than Remake. This installment follows Cloud and company after they escape Midgar up through to their arrival at the Forgotten Capital. We've taken painstaking care to depict how the group bonds during their journey, one that ultimately decides Aerith's fate. Once you finish Please. Rebirth, I'm Please sure you'll agree that alive. no other game Please. makes you feel quite this close to its characters. Not even him. I would sacrifice anybody for Aerith. Rebirth makes full use of the PlayStation 5 and its SSD meaning we could use much higher resolution assets than we could in Remake. And they will still load in the blink of an eye. Maintain a 60 FPS frame rate with performance mode. Or prioritize 4K resolution with graphics mode. I'd probably stick Whichever with, you prefer, uh, the fallen. Rebirth has you covered. Each character interacts with the world in their own way. Barrett shoots objects. Yuffie swings across gaps. Tifa has her grappling gun. Red can climb along walls. Kate Sith grabs and throws items. And Aerith manipulates the life stream. Whatever challenges you face, your teammates will be ready to help you overcome them. That's interesting. Now for the music. We wanted to pay respect to the original FF7's tracks, but also challenge ourselves by matching the feeling of each scene which resulted in some truly innovative arrangements. Like, for example, the following. Music's always been great on Final Fantasy VII, to be fair. How was that? If you enjoyed what you heard, we recorded well over 400 new tracks for this game, so there's plenty more where that came from. Thank you for choosing Bronco Cruises. We sincerely hope you enjoyed your trip with us. Your party's bonds aren't just reflected in the story, but through gameplay as well. The choices you make throughout your adventure will change the way your comrades feel towards Cloud. Yeah, at least I made that promise to you. I would just be like, These yeah, you. These feelings will join you on a date in a gold saucer. Something Aerith. I'm sure many of you are excited about. In fact, even allies who weren't available in the original FF7 
can now accompany you, provided you play your cards right. The saucer is packed with many incredible sights to see and things to do. So your outing there will no doubt be a highlight of the game. Already have someone who you'd like to go with? Yes, Aerith. Well, we hope they feel the same way too. <laughs> Your companions will share a bond not only with Cloud, but with each other as well. Your party level, a numerical expression of this bond, will increase as you overcome challenges. I'm going to accompany you. The higher this level, the more skills will become available in your character's folios, a mechanic new to rebirth. By unlocking the skills etched in these tones, your characters will grow stronger and learn new synergy commands. Part of what makes Rebirth's combat so fun is all the different character combinations. Switch up your team to fit the situation, nah, or so even your mood. I think it's going to be Aerith, Every Vincent, possible party Cloud. combination has its own unique synergy oh, Aerith, commands. Cloud, Red 13. So once you find characters that work for you, focus on tweaking their skills to match your combat needs. And don't be afraid to experiment. You can reset your folios at any time. That's good to know. With new characters and synergy commands at your disposal, Remake's satisfying hybrid of action combat and strategic planning has been made even more dynamic and engaging. We can't wait for you to experience all this and more in Final <laughs> Fantasy VII Rebirth on PlayStation 5. Ah, uh, that looks hilarious. Hansaku's creative director, Nomura Tetsuya. How was it? How was it? How was it? How was it? この大体 今回の体験版では発売までの間にアップデートが入り、ジュノンエリアの一部を探索できる追加デモが開放されます。本作の特徴であるジュードの高いエリア探索を体験してください。詳細な情報は公式サイトやSNSをご確認ください。ぜひこ